Hi, Danielle here. Welcome to Danielle's Corner. Today we're going to be discussing temptation and what kind of steps you can take to maybe, not maybe, but to fight off that temptation. So, um, depends on what you're being tempted, but most things work, you know, certain things will work to help you out. Um, one is just to be aware of your thoughts. Remember that, you know, thoughts of failure and insecurity are the devil. So if you're having maybe temptation to cheat, let's say you are taking a class or something or or you're up for a promotion and you feel like you want to cheat because you feel like somebody else is going to get a better grade than you or you feel like somebody else is going to get that promotion. So you're like, well, I'll just cheat because you don't feel that you're as good as that other person or, you know, whatever reason or that you're not going to get that good grade. You know, those thoughts of insecurity and those thoughts of that you're going to fail and you're not good enough, those are not godly thoughts. Those do not come from God. Those come from evil. Those are God, godless, evil Satan thoughts. So, um, you know, because God is love. God wants you to succeed. God is, is love. So a lot of times what you can, you know, realize that um, those things that pop in your head that aren't, that are telling you to do things that are not good, you know, just realize that those aren't coming from God. And so you can pray, you know, pray for strength. God is always there for you to, to, to give you strength and to, he doesn't want you to go with the temptation. He wants you to be with him. So, um, you can pray, um, read the Bible. There, um, is a, let me find it. There's an app. Well, it's not an app, but it's a, um, website that I found that you can type in what you're wanting. So let's say temptation. You type it in and it'll give you all of the places you can look at. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see that. There we go. All the different places you can look in the Bible that talks about temptation. And this is called openbible.info. So you just type that in and it gives you all the different places you can look in the Bible and it even has the Bible readings on there um, that talk about temptation. So, you know, you can look to the Bible, say your prayers, um, and then, you know, also show yourself grace and be patient with yourself and know that you have the strength in you to fight that off you know no matter what the temptation is you have it in you to be like you know what that's not right and I'm not gonna listen to you bad people over there telling me that I should do something that I know is not right and the thing with temptation is we deal with this throughout our lives you know not just children do this or teenagers or young adults throughout our lives we're gonna we're gonna you know have temptations we're gonna have things that Maybe we come in our head and be like, oh, maybe I should do that. And you're like, uh, no, maybe not. You know, oh, maybe I should go flirt with that person over there. Oh, wait, I'm married. No, you know, <laughs> you know, or sometimes you have an attraction to somebody, but you're already married. So there's always going to be temptations. There's always going to be things, um, that are out there and, um, we just have to fight against it, you know, prayer, Bible. Um, also, you can talk with someone, a family member, a friend that maybe has, if, if they've had like the same type of temptation, depending on, you know, where you're at or how open you are with people, you can, um, yeah, I, for me, mine would be prayer and Bible. You can talk to a therapist if that would help. Um, just, you know, but definitely don't give into it. Because that's exactly what Satan wants, is he wants us to give in and do the bad things. Because that takes us further away from God. And um, then you're more, even easier to tempt to do other bad things. Because the further away from God you get, the easier you are to, to tempt. You know, So just keep your faith strong. Stay with God. Go to church. Talk to your pastor. Whatever you need to do. Um, but definitely stay stay on God's side and don't give in to that temptation just um you know also like maybe 
if you're having something and maybe like go for a walk or um, read a book, listen to some music, just kind of try to get your mind off whatever that bad thing is that is not going to better your life at all. If anything, it's going to make it worse. So try to do something like that, you know, maybe exercise, um, whatever you can do to just kind of deflect off that and get your, yourself back right. And um, yeah, that's what I do. And so far it works. Don't get me wrong. I have definitely given into temptation in my life. <laughs> I'm 49, so definitely have done it. Everybody does. And then if you do just, you know, turn yourself back around and go back to God and he will always accept you back and ask for forgiveness and forgive yourself and then we move on and continue going and then don't do that same mistake again but anyway those are the things that I that help me with temptation you know being aware of your thoughts realizing where they're coming from prayer um, reading the Bible being forgiving yourself, um, talking with others. Also another thing maybe is um, maybe fasting because that can put your mind more on um, spiritually also. So you fast physically, but it brings you more spirituality. Spirituality. So that is another thing that you can try as well as fasting and that brings you closer to the Lord as well. So those are some tips. I hope they help you. I hope, um, let me know how you all are doing, what's going on in your lives. And I hope you like this video. And I hope you're all having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly blessed week. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.